How is it going, my Shepherd Squad? Uh, now, before we get into this, uh, I just have a little bit of explaining I have to do. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of uh, references to a grinding montage that uh, I was under the impression that I would be able to pop into this video. Uh, unfortunately, the grinding montage was an hour and 20 minutes long, so when I tried to edit that in Vegas, it looked like utter hot trash. So I decided to cut it, and I'd rather give you this explanation now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I apologize for that, um, but yeah, uh, I'd rather not have my first five minutes of my video be an incredibly ridiculously sped up video of me just repeatedly killing Pokemon uh, to the point where you can't see anything that's going on. So sorry about that, guys, but this is a very, very, very good episode, so please, uh, I hope that you can accept my apology at... And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode. So, yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into it. So, see you in a minute, guys. How is it going, my Shepherd Squad? And welcome back to my Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Now, I've done some grinding off screen. Uh, a little bit of the footage got a little bit corrupted. So, uh, unfortunately, the grinding montage is going to look a little bit weird. But basically, this is the team. Uh, we have DDR. The Docile Luminion, who I decided to put on the team for banter reasons. Uh, and yeah, Surf, uh, Rain Dance, Psychic, and Water Pulse. I am going to change out Water Pulse right here. Uh, not Water Pulse, sorry. Um, Rain Dance, because I've given it choice specs, because it's going to be one of the strongest hitting things we have. So I'm going to change that out for... I was thinking Focus Blast. Although I am very unsure of whether Focus Blast would be the right thing to give it. It's like the only thing I can think of that would be worth it because uh, a lot of the other moves I have unless it can learn air slash in which case I will give it that it can't so it's gonna have to be focus blast and I do not want to have to rely on focus blast hitting uh, but that's the situation we're in we're not gonna need rain dance in the slightest it's just a dead move slot so that's gonna have that so anyway back to the team <laughs> we have Luminion with the choice specs we have Adam Sandler, who I've given the Black Belt, just to power up the Force Palm a little bit. Fake Out, Sand Attack, Force Palm, Fly. We have Sluggy Boy, who I've given the Rock Incense to power up its Ancient Power a little bit, just because Lava Plume is already quite strong. It's stronger than the Ancient Power. We could do with having that in increased a little bit. Uh, yes, we have Nemet, who has Toxic Spikes, Giga Drain, Surf, and Magical Leaf. We have Kecleon over here, who has Waterfall, Shadow Sneak, uh, Slash, and Hyper Fang. I've given it the Shell Bell, uh, just because, why not? <laughs> and we've got Sarah Burrell is the Raichu, who has the Expert Belt with Thunderbolt, Surf, Extra Sensory, and Headbutt. Now, that is a great moveset for it, I personally think so. Uh, and that is going to be what the team actually is. I've also went back on my rule a little bit, because I realized that... Using no items against the Elite Four would be utterly, utterly ridiculous. So I've given myself a limit of five full restores to use out of battle only and five full heals to use out of battle only. I cannot use any in-game items, in-battle items. I can only use these outside of battle and that will be it. The Awakening, the Ice Heal, I can use the Elixirs, I'll give them, but yeah. Any of these items can only be used outside a battle. If I sh if I fall inside of a battle, then that's it. Can't use a revive, can't use anything, can't use nothing. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to save. Because I want to save. <laughs> and then we are going to get inside and we're going to fight this mother flipping Elite Four. So. Uh, not, no, I don't want to save again. This is not Nurse Joy. Once you enter this door, you'll be facing off. Uh, you'll be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. Yes, fam. Let's go. So. Whew. Okay. So, I am going to stay with Nemet up front. Because we've got Toxic Spikes just to try and deal a little bit of damage onto things. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic-type Pokémon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Elite Four Will with his Cray Dilly. Alright, so. This thing I don't think is going to be doing much to me. So I want to set up the Toxic Spikes against it. Because the only thing it would really have to hurt me would be Ancient Power. Amnesia, okay. Amnesia is going to raise its special defense. We're going to go for a second layer of Toxic Spikes. And Ancient Power is going to hit me this time. This is not going to do too much because Rosier uh, has naturally good special defense. So literally about 20 damage. Uh, and we're going to go switch out into Adam Sandler. And that should, fingers crossed, be that. Ancient Power again. Okay. Nothing. Literally nothing. So I am going to fake it out. Just because a little bit of extra damage is always nice. It's not going to be much. But it will help. So Force Palm. Smack in the face. Fingers crossed we get a Paralysis. Ooh! Crit right when you need it. Buzzing. Okay. Adam Sandler is going to get some EXP. Ambi Palm's coming in. All right. Poison. That might help out in the long run. But I'm just going to Force Palm it again. Nasty block. Okay. Force Palm. Smack, smack. Nice. Sweet. Sweet. Nice. I will take that. Tentacruel. That's going to suck right back up those Toxic Spikes. Okay. Uh, I could set them back up. Or I could just switch out into Sarah Borellis and Thunderbolt this. Or I could go out into the Met and Giga Drain it a couple of times to try and get her health back up. I like that. I don't know if this thing has Liquid e Ooze though, so... Barrier. Alright, uh, if you want to, I guess. Some Black Sludge is nice. I want to see if this thing has Liquid Ooze. Poison Jet. Oh, it's just going to go for it. Alright, it's just going to smack me straight. Ooh! Ow! Yes, no liquid ooze. This must be a rain-dish one. So I should be able to tank this out. Poison jab me again. Okay. Ooh, that's not nice. You are not very nice. I don't like you. Health plus black sludge. Oh, citrus berry. Okay. That's not the worst thing that could have happened right there. Although it does mean I probably can't take this thing out. Who can I go into? DDR can probably take one and then retaliate with a choice spec Psychic. Borellis can probably take one and then retaliate with an Expert Belt Thunder. Thunderbolt, sorry. I like you better. We're going to Sarah Borellis. Ah. Barrier. Oh, alright! So this should definitely take it out. I know it's got good special defense, but this should definitely take it out. Expert Belted Thunder. Stab. Uh, times 1.2 was on top of that. Good special attack. Gone! Alright. Okay. And a Gorobis. Okay. You're not going to be able to touch me. I could just stay in and Thunderbolt. But I think this is a good chance to go back out into Nemet and get some health back with Giga Drain. Aqua Ring. Okay. Okay. So, Black Sludge plus Giga Drain should be putting me at a nice, a nice, uh, nice state at the end of this, actually. This is, like, the best it could have gone. <laughs> One shot. Right back up to full. This is, like, the best it could have gone. What's your last Pokemon? And we have Remoray. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's perfect. That's actually perfect. I don't even need to waste a Giga Drain. Magical Leaf. This should definitely take it. This should take it. Yes! No health. Zero damage, boy. Zero damage at the end of this. Hell yes. I am taking that. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay, let's do that. Let's just do that. That was perfect. I don't even need to waste any items. Yes. Okay. 
I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows and ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Ha 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 ha! Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall see that soon enough. Let's go. Let's do this. Kabuto. Okay. I can easily set up them their top six spikes against this thing. Shouldn't be able to do much to me at all. Let's get these out. Let's get these on the field. Sand attack. Okay. That's literally nothing, so I can just magical leaf this thing. Aqua jet. All right. All right. Okay. You do that. <laughs> And then Black Sludge is probably going to put me back at full health, actually. Oh, not quite. Let's Magical Leaf. All right. Nice. Nice. This is going to put me at a good spot. To uh, two layers of Toxic Spikes up. Uh, Kabuto's down. Nice. And Black Sludge is going to put me back in the 100 plus range. Ho-Oh. Alright, this is precisely the reason why we are gonna like this is precisely what we want the sluggy boy to be out here for. Fire blast. That's gonna do nothing to me. Nothing. Alright. Ancient power. Sunny day. Alright. I'll take that. You wanna do that? You go for it. You're just gonna power me up. Ancient power. Oof! Look at that damage! Power? Let's do another one. Extra sensory. Please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Yes! Give me the boosts. Give me the boosts. Yes! Get in! You've powered up my lava plume. I've got a plus one in every stat. Sluggy boy gonna go wild. Oh. Lotad. You picked the wrong day to come and show your face here, mate. Poison. Sun boosted lava plume. You picked the wrong day to show your face around here. Get in. Get in. Golduck. Now that is where we draw the line. That is where we draw the line. Uh, let's go into Nemet. Nemet can take a, a water attack and respond with a Giga Drain. Water Pulse. All right. It's sun dampened, so that did nothing. No confusion either. Yes. Right. Giga Drain should fingers cross take this out after a toxic, uh, toxic thing, and it should put me in good standing. It should put me with enough health to be able to survive. Okay, uh, it does live. Screeches me too. Alright, that might be a problem. Toxic, not quite. I will Magical Leaf. This should be a two-hit KO. And this thing should be down. Oh, Sluggy Boy is the star of this one, I'm afraid. Although Nemet, Look at you. Look at you doing all this damage. Utterly wrecking through. And that's going to take it out. <sighs> like, next to no damage. And a Mesprit. All right. How am I dealing with this? Because I can't deal with this with Namet. However, I do have a good psychic check here in your boy God. All right, future sight. What are you gonna do? Hyper Fang is stronger. Protect. That is not nice. <laughs> Lucky chance. All right. Well, it's a good thing I'm not going for slash. Chomp. How much is that gonna do? Stab boosted. That's not bad. Although I am now gonna be a psychic type. <laughs> oh wait, no, that doesn't work like that. Mesprit, do 
you mind? Future sight. Okay, you do that. I can't get a crit, obviously. Because of the lucky chance. Ah, citrus berry. Alright. Well, I'm going to respond with my own shell bell. Do you mind? <laughs> Swift. Keep me normal type. Keep me normal type. Although this might get a little bit hairy because of this. Oh. Right, health back from Shell Bell. Future Sight damage. I win this matchup. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Full restore. Alright. You want to do that? Hyper Fang. You are literally just giving me opportunities to get health back, though. So, 61. Protect. Why are you doing that? Hyper Fang again. Right, your Protect failed. I should be able to kill you with a Shadow Sneak or two. Fingers crossed Shadow Sneak takes this out. Protect. Alright. Well, this is just in case it tries to go for a, a Swift. Does kill it. Critical. Ha! <laughs> It's got a lucky, a lucky chant, and I still hit it with a crit. Boom. That should put me up at about 70. 71. All right. Nimet's got a level up. Nice. The team is doing work. The team is doing work. I will take this so far. Good result. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Sweet. So look at this. I have two full restores that I might be needing to use, so I'm going to use one on, I think, God. I don't see Sluggy Boy being much help, uh, unless Sluggy Boy gets, like, super low. Sluggy Boy might end up being um, a bit of death fodder in this, I'm afraid. Alright, so we're going to stay with Nemet up front again. Just because Nemet has the Black Sludge, has the Toxic Spikes, has the power. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Pepsi? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Sweet. So I have this left over. Let's see if we've got anything left to do. Yeah, like a splash. Hi, Bruno. <laughs> the champ. What? Ha! <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's odds, I guess. So I don't think this is going to be doing too much to me. So I'm going to hit the toxic spikes first. Because that might be helpful for later on, I guess. Cross chop. Ow. That's going to hurt. That hurts. But Black Sludge plus Giga Drain. Black Sludge plus Giga Drain. Giga Drain is very, very useful. Very happy I, uh... Very happy I have that on the map. Look at that! Heals, like, all of the damage it just did to me. As long as it doesn't get a crit, we're fine. Why do I bother? That is not good at all. Alright, who can take a hit? Because this thing doesn't have... This thing might have guts, basically. So, might be Adam Sandler's time to shine. Take in, uh, switch in, take a hit. Fake out it. Fingers crossed that plus two rounds of poison damage is enough to kill it. Submission. Well, that was predictions and a half. <laughs> Alright, so. There is no way in hell he is going for a move here. He has got to full restore this thing. He does. So, we're going to fly it. Probably not going to KO, but it is going to give me a chance to at least take one hit. Because it will be faster. We can fly it. Boom. Okay, so we can guarantee it doesn't have no guard. Because no guard hits while you're flying too. 
damage. Alright. So now I can switch out into DDR, I think. I think DDR is my choice. Fairly defensive. You can take more of a hit than Sarah Borellis can. So, DDR time. This thing is putting work in. And I'm going to specs myself into... Oh! Thank God it doesn't have that guts boost. No crit either, thank God. Alright. We're going to specs ourselves into Psychic, I think. Alright. Nice. My champ's down and it did a number on me. Menemoth. 46. And that's goodbye to my one layer of Toxic Spikes. That Machamp really did a number. Look at this. So I do have a full health Kekli on here. I could switch into this. Or I could just go straight out into Sarah Pirellis. Because this thing's probably going to outspeed me. Luminion's base speed is 80... 91. What's Venomoth's? We're going to look this up real quick. Yeah. On my uh, my new phone, we're gonna check this up. So, Ven, Veno, oh, Venomoth speed base ninety. So, technically, if I have any speed EVs, I will outspeed it. But I don't trust it. I don't trust myself not to. So, we're gonna switch out into God. signal beam. Okay. It was going for the kill. Oh, confuse me. Alright. That was not what I wanted. This is not going well. Hax is not in my favour. Sleep powder. What? Right. Change my mind. Change my mind. Right. Hard switch out to Sarah Borellis. Signal beam. I'll take this. I'll take this all ends. All ends up. Easy. Expert belt boosted extra sensory. This thing's a pain in the arse, man. Flinch it. Citrus berry. Of course it has a citrus berry. Signal beam. Don't crit me. Don't you dare. Thank you. Go away. Go away, Venomoth. Yes. I wasn't sure that was going to kill. Grumpig. Why? <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Alright, Sluggy Boy. What have I done to deserve to have to fight this goddamn Grumpig right here? I need some prior damage. I can't just Thunderbolt this because it's going to live. It's got a base 110 special defense and a base 80 health. I'm not one-shotting this with a Thunderbolt and it's going to finish me off with a Zen Headbutt because that's in Grumpig's learn set. It's not going to hit me on the special side, so going out into God is just going to be a waste of time. What do I do here? Well, if it's got Zen Headbutt, it's going to hit me and potentially burn itself. So that'll be... That'll be my priority. Try and get the burn on it. Zen Headbutt. Okay, predict it correctly. Oh, that did nothing. Yawn it. Zen Headbutt me again. Okay. Oh, crit. And a flinch, really? <laughs> Really? I could have done with having Sluggy Boy around. I'm going to have to sacrifice one or two on this. Payback. Is that really going to kill? Yeah. Burn! Woo! Needed that. Sluggy Boy, your sacrifice was not in vain. Not even slightly. Now I should be able to live a hit with DDR and I can lock myself into Surf.
I should be able to live a hit now because of the burn. Grumpig doesn't have the greatest attack stat. If I could have done that, I wouldn't have sacrificed it. <laughs> Hacks all over the place. Metagross. What? What? Looks like I'm gonna have to surf. <sighs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, it does have a half. Psychic. It's gonna kill. Does it have bullet punch? If it has bullet punch... If it has bullet punch, we're fine. At this point, I think Kecleon is more of a, a liability to me than DDR. Because DDR has the water type. No. I don't know. Something's telling me this has bullet punch. <sighs> right. I'm going to check this because I'll be able to find out through Metagross's learn set. Metagross. Level up. HGSS. I need to know. Because then I can make an informed decision of what I do next. So it lends Bullet Punch 32. Mm, it's going to have a move set of Bullet Punch, Psychic, Iron Defense, and. It's going to have a move set of Pursuit, Bullet Punch, Psychic, and Iron Defense. So it is going to have Bullet Punch. So if I stay in and surf, then it will Bullet Punch me. If I switch out, it will pursue me. So I'm gonna lose DDR here. Yeah, I was gonna lose DDR there no matter what. And that's really frustrating. Because DDR was gonna carry me. But at least it means I get a free switch into Cerebrellis, who's gonna finish it off with a Thunderbolt. Okay. worried about that. So worried about that. Okay, that's gone. And Frostlass. Alright. So, it's a Frostlass. They normally come equipped with the move Wake Up Slap. They've got base 70 special defense. Can Sarah Borellis finish this off? Or am I going to have to go and sacrifice Adam Sandler? Or Kecleon. I think Kecleon might be useful, uh, useless here. Sarah Borellis can't finish this off on its own. Frostlass. I'm going to look and see what it has. I'm going to see what moves it's going to have. I'm pretty sure it's got Wake Up Slap, so uh, Kecleon can't really do its job. Frost. Yeah, Frostlass level up. This thing is going to have the following moves. It's going to have... Hail, Ice Shard, Captivate, Wake Up Slap. That's terrible for me. Because it means the mech can't do anything. My only chance is to hope that Kecleon wakes up and I sacrifice someone else. Otherwise, this is over. Ice Shard is 100% going to take me out. I really could have done with uh, not getting crit and flinched with Sluggy Boy. I could really have done with having a free switch out here. Because now I'm going to have to sacrifice someone. And the Ice Shard is practically guaranteed to take me out. But I need Sarah Brellas around. Adam Sandler... I think Kecleon has to go. Wait for slap, okay. Oh, it woke me up though. And now I can shadow sneak it. No! Of course it's gonna ice Chardonnay! I 
I just told you it's moveset, Alex. Hail. The reason I'm doing this is my only hope right now is to hope for an Ice Shard miss on someone. Not on this. That's gone. Yeah, my only hope is to hope for an Ice Shard miss on Sarah Borellis. Nope. Gone. Oh, I lived! I could have stayed in and Thunderbolted. Now I've lost Sarah Borellis. It's the hail being up. I have to hope for this to miss. It does. We are alive to see another day. But Bruno, you have done an absolute number. I can't get through this with just Rose Raid. I can't get through this with just Rose Raid, but we're going to try. I'm Karen of the Elite Four. You're Pepsi. How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Hit Pikachu and Eevee. Damn Bruno! <sighs> Bronzer. <laughs> well, it's over. I have to surf it. Safeguard. Alright. Block. Catch this block. Gyro Ball. Do a Giga Drain. Oh, alright. You want to do that? Toxic Spikes, why not? Your Gyro Balls aren't doing that much to me, mate. I might as well. I can Giga Drain and stall you out of them. Yep. And that's your last one. So now we're going to start magically leaving. I don't think you have any other. Oh, I've got one more. Alright. Giga Drain. Iron Fence. Alright. Well, I'm going to use an Elixir. Iron Fence. Wait, have you got any moves? Because I could get myself back to full here. Let's do it. Yeah, let's keep spamming Toxic Spikes until the Black Sludge takes me back up to full. I know you've got Safeguard. Don't really care. I'm going to keep using it until the Safeguard runs out. No longer detected by Safeguard. But I'm not at full health yet, so... We're going to keep Toxic Spiking until it runs out again. One more. One more. Okay, no longer protected by Safeguard. Surf takes it out. Back up at full health. That's gone. All right. <sighs> the Met versus the world right now. The Met versus the world. Reggie. <laughs> knowing you <laughs> that was like the only thing in the game that could have perfectly counted me like this okay it's going for curse all right that's like a perfect counter all right at least we might have a chance surf technically does more because it's base 95 and 60 times 50 60 times 1.5 okay it's setting up on me Toxic Spikes once more. Curse again. Fingers crossed this keeps it out of range. Because I know that a Giga Drain plus uh, the poison here won't kill it. This will, however. Giga Drain. Yeah, now it's dead. It's going to ancient power me. That, that was the most pointless thing you could have done, Reggie Ice. Crit! Alright! Everything in its mother wants to crit me. 
Well, no matter, you're, you've just taken out a Reggie Ice and a Bronzong, so can't be going that badly. And a level up. That's nice. Wobbuffet. Do not touch this thing. Toxic spikes. Let it kill itself. Let it kill itself. Perfect. Perfect. Quagsire. Okay. Nice. Oh, sugar. Amnesia. That was, like, horrible. Alright, Magical Leaf. It's either this kills it, or takes it down to a range where it's going to full restore... And I can Giga Drain to get the health back. Rain Dance. All right. Gone. Out of my face. And you just powered up my Surf too. Heracross. Rain Boosted Surf. Oh, Guts Boost. Rain Boosted Surf. <sighs> Half damage. Take that one. done this that's the elite four done but now we've got the champion so we're not done yet all right okay well i didn't expect that so we're gonna full restore we're gonna elixir And we're going to charge full steam ahead and hope that we don't come up against something stupid. Namet, you've given me hope. I've been waiting for you. Pepsi, I knew that you with your skills would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I lance the Dragon Master. Accept your challenge. Snowball. <laughs> GG! I have to attack this thing. I don't have a good matchup against it. Whereas it does against me. Bye! Screw it. I've got these full restores. Why not? Why not? Well, that's it. Well. <sighs> Namet, you fought admirably taking down Karen on your own. That was horrible. But I'm going to hit the reset button on that. So, <laughs> unfortunately, we did lose all of our team members there. And I'm going to hit the reset button on this. So everyone alive is still alive. I feel like I got ridiculously unlucky. And I'm just... I got absolutely ridiculously unlucky. Like, Nemet on her own took out that... Uh, took out Karen's team. Uh, I just got incredibly unlucky with the Machamp getting poisoned through Poison Point. And the, the initial crit. She crit me. Then got poisoned herself. So, I was at low health and had to switch, and the Machamp was now poisoned and could go for a Guts Boosted Cross Chop. Way too many crits happened in places where they shouldn't have. For example, the crit flinch on Sluggy Boy with the Grumpig. 
Kecleon being put to sleep with the sleep powder. DDR being... I think DDR got crit at one point. That just felt incredibly unlucky. Uh, so yeah, I am going to hit the reset button on this. And we are going to have another try in the next episode. So this is not over. We are not over yet. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to do all of that good stuff that YouTubers ask you to do, such as like and subscribe and do all of that nice stuff. And I will see you back here for the next episode of whatever I make. In the meantime, look after yourselves, look after each other, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.